Hello, this is Haka Jabin and I'm here with SCP-94 and 95. Starting with 94, Miniature Event Horizon. I'm number SCP-94, Object Class, Keter. Special Katerian Procedures. Since SCP-94 is apparently immovable, a research and containment facility has been built around its location, centered at, at coordinates that we are not able to see. In the guise of an Argentinian and a military research urge base, no unauthorized persons or aircraft may come within one kilometer of the site. Enforced by joint SCP and Argentinian enforces. SCP-94 itself is enclosed in a glass and a gas permeable will still over-enforce a plexiglass cube, three meters on a side with a single door, also of reinforced plexiglass in one side. This door must remain locked at all times except with O5 authorization under tight controlled conditions. This cube is kept in the center of a 20 meter by 20 meter room, accessible with level 4 authorization. All personnel must secure themselves to tethers anchored to the walls before stepping onto the floor of a room. Security personnel are to be armed with tranquilizer guns in addition to standard armaments. Description SCP 94 appears to be a perfectly black sphere, 163 centimeters in, in diameter, suspended approximately 3 meters off the ground with no apparent means of support. SV-94 has been classified as a miniature event horizon. Any matter that moves into SCP-94, including light, is irretrievably gone. However, SV-94 is not a black hole since it does not exert a gravitational pole. SV-94 has been known to occasionally emit a number of different sounds, including ambient sounds of nature, static buzzing, and sometimes human speech. No attempts to communicate with SCP-94 have yet succeeded. It is unknown whether these sounds come from SCP-94 itself, from some things or th things inside of SCP-94, or from some area that connects through SCP-94. A small per percentage of persons appear to be drawn into the SCP drawn to SCP-94 because of the sounds it, it emanates. SCP-94 was discovered in the 1920s in the Chuba, its province of southern Argentina and at the same time was estimated to be 20 to 25 centimeters in diameter. Analysis of historical records indicate that the diameter of SP-94 doubles in size approximately every 31 years. Primary research activities on SP-94 are concentrated on finding how to stop or reverse its growth without inducing cataclysmic failure. Addendum. A hand on SCP-1032, designated SCP-1032-15, will achieve its midnight event on 0904-2016, approximately the same date as SCP-94 will fully engulf the Earth at its current rate of expansion. Note, a few millimeters a month may not seem like much, and no, at the moment you cannot see SV-94 change, change today, day to day, but if it continues its exponential growth, in less than 250 years, it will be a kilometer wide, including vertically. And uh, that is assuming it does not grow even faster, which is an assumption that uh, almost no one here makes. And now we have SCP-95. The Atomic Adventures of Rodney Reagan. Item number SCP-95. Object class safe. Special special containment procedures. SCP-95 is replaced in a standard or the polyethylene sleeve when not under scheduled research and stored in a standard locker, locked filing cabinet to prevent damage or wear. High resolution digital scans are available for any level 1 and above personnel who wish to view SCP-95. Description: SCP-95 appears to be a set of three moderately aged black and white comic books printed in 1932. The front and rear covers are missing and several pages have been rendered Ill illegible due to water damage. It was found by Agent Blank in a small antique shop in Denver, Colorado 
and purchased for a small fee without incident. The owner of the shop had apparently not read the item past the publisher's date on the first page. Forensic inspections of SCP-95 have revealed it to be genuine, though completely unremarkable save for its content. It is printed on cheap pulp paper and inked with dyes, common to other earth publications of its era. The publisher's stamp indicates it's, it was produced by Future Funnies, a company operating out of, ta out of the town of Purple Lake, Ohio. All research and inquiries thus far have owned both the company and the town to be completely non-existent. The comic itself is a pulp science fiction story entitled The Atomic Adventures of Ronnie Reagan, featuring a lead character bearing an, bearing an unmistakable resemblance to former United States President and Ronald Reagan. Each story opens with a large panel reading in the far-fetched future world of the 1980s. Only Ronnie Ray, a gun, can save the day. It appears to follow an episodic format with one self-contained story for publication. These the three stories are briefly described below. One, Ronnie Ray, Ronnie versus Space Admiral Carter. This story, it's plant a, a governor. A Ronnie Reagan and his sidekick Space Major Herbert against the titular Space Admiral Carter as they both vie for the position of Space Marshal. The events loosely follow the events of the 1980 presidential election. Space Assassin! This story follows a character named Aceman Hickley as he, pers as he prepares to assassinate Space Marshal O'Reagan. He manages to catch Reagan by surprise and wound him with his devastating ray before being subdued by Reagan soldiers. The events obviously refer to the 1981 assassination attempt by John Flinkley Jr. Jungle Planet! This story follows Reagan's attempts to create an army of robots on the jungle or the planet of Nika in order to protect Alectic from the evil sand bandits. Although Reagan is told that he will lose his command if he interferes with events on planet Nika, he sends his lieutenant space Colonel West to secretly build a force Ice under the cover of the jungle. Oh, when their cover when their plan is discovered, Space Colonel West probably takes the blame and saves his superior. This already appears to be a simplified retelling of the Iran Contra controversies of nineteen eighty six. Ross will be most interesting is the final page of each book, which advertises other stories by future funnies in bit. That's what you know, they're what they to locate any surviving copies at once. The advertised stories are listed below. Space Major Herbert assumes command. Starman Willy vs. the Space Succubus. Globewalker and Sneak Attack. Barry Beetle Ogis on Planet Afgar. Diamond Dotty and Pudding on the Root. It's Sky Marm Sarah of the Ice World. Flying Freakin' vs. Rocket Rush. The Star Command Proton in a losing battle. The New Menace, Death to Mankind. Personal log of Dr. Blank. Date 10 6 2004. October 6 2004, I guess. I also got to emphasize how important it is to cover any and all of the avatar stories immediately, the final two in particular. Oh, that's why it's anomalous. It was printed in 1932. It seemed a pretty. not anomalous for most of it. Anyway, that was SCP-94 and 95. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like icon on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time for a very shy friend of ours.